Love it. Thank you for letting me stay here. Why are you thanking me? You don't need to stress yourself by getting a hotel. Thank you. So what will you eat tonight? Lovet, I'm not hungry. I'm going inside to sleep. Don't sleep in my room, the visitor's room. Yes, ma. <sighs> oh, God. Now, let me call Jeffrey. He's been calling me continuously. Jeffrey. Good evening, Lovet. How are you doing? I'm fine, you? Lovet, I have been calling you. Yes, you can't come inside. Please, let's talk outside instead. Why? What's wrong? Mommy. Mommy. Robert, what are you doing here by this time? Catherine! Mom! Catherine! Catherine? What happened? Is she okay? She's in the hospital, Mom. Hospital? What happened? She had an abortion, Mom. An abortion? What? Yes, Mom. I don't know who's the owner of the baby. Wait, she had an abortion? Yes, Mom. I... I don't even know, Mom. Did she tell you about it? No, she didn't. I don't even know if the baby is mine or not, Mom. The baby has to be yours. Why would she have an abortion? Let me have the name of the hospital she's in. The general hospital, mom. Let me go there. Why did you say we should enter the house? Didn't you get my message? I didn't get any message, love it. You didn't? Why did you say we should talk in my car? Amanda is around. What? Yes, she's in the car and that is why I said we should talk here. What's she doing here? She got bored and tired at home. Really? And she came here? Yes, she did. She wouldn't like what I would do to her. She won't. No fight, please, Jeffrey. Please. Okay. Should a married woman leave her house? Because she's got nothing to do. That's what she told you? Look at her outside the house. She's probably looking for me. I am shocked that she's here. Really shocked to my bones. Catherine. Mom. How are you feeling? I'm better, Ma. What happened, Catherine? Mom, I know Robert has already told you what happened. Why I bought the baby, my grandchild? I am not ready to have a baby. There are so many things you are not ready for. I know. But abortion is wrong. What if you had died? I made a dumb decision. You didn't believe me? It's not good, Catherine. I'm sorry. Did you even tell Robert to hear his view on this? No, I didn't. Catherine, you have offended me for the first time. I am sorry, Ma. You should have let my grandchild leave and not take the baby out. I did what I thought was best for me. You are always thinking about yourself. You don't want to get married because you think Robert would stop your school. You don't want to have a baby because you are always about you. You, what about me? What about the others? I'm sorry, Ma. Do you know how many people would kill to just have what you have? Look at Hilda's sister, for instance. She shouldn't be here. Don't worry about her. She'll be gone next tomorrow. Really? Yes, and I sent you a message. Thank God you didn't come to my shop. I wanted to, but I have been busy with Honorable. Thank God. So we can't hang out tonight because she's here? Yes. Okay, how about my proposal? Your wife is here at my place and you're asking about this. It doesn't change anything to me. I want us to have a relationship together. I can even marry you. I told you love it. You can't. I won't be a second wife. You can be the only wife if that's what you want. Jeffrey, I need to go inside. My proposal? Not now. I can't answer. Hilda. Martin. What are you doing here? Is that what you're meant to ask me after you left without even reaching out to me? I am sorry. Can I come inside or I should stay out here? Please come inside. I am sorry. See, what happened was so urgent and that's why I couldn't even call. I called you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you know how I felt? Any ideas? I'm sorry. But you should know that I wouldn't just leave like that. I won't do that. I don't know. After what you did, I really don't know. I'm sorry. See, so many things happened to me. What happened? I was kidnapped. What? Yes, I was kidnapped. I'm even so lucky to be alive, believe me. Why does he keep coming back to my mind? Why? I don't want to think about him. I don't even want to talk to him. What do I do today? Hello, Naribu. Good morning, my lord. Good morning, baby. How was your night? 
I couldn't sleep. I was so bothered about you, Cassie. Wondering if you were sleeping at night at all. I tried to sleep, but I kept having nightmares on him. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, losing someone I love is really painful. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, but, yeah what are you doing today? I'm going to travel home to see my family. As you say, although I would love to spend time with you today, if you agree to it. Go home to your family. They need you. I also need you, Cassie. You are my family. Honorable. I still want to marry you, Cassie. I wish you would consider me. Maybe I will. When you're back from your trip. Are you serious? Or is this just your way of making sure I don't do anything to fight with my wife at home? Honorable, believe what you will. Good morning, baby. Good evening, Amanda. How was your night rest? I slept well. How about you? Did you sleep well? No, I didn't. I miss you by my side. I also miss you. When are you coming home? By next week, I should be home. Okay, baby. Bring me something when coming. I will. Okay. Where are you? In the kitchen cooking. At home? Yes, at home. Where else would I be? Definitely home. Send me a picture of you. I want to see you. Okay. Why does he want a picture of me at home? Or did anyone come to the house to look for him? Good morning, Hilda. Good morning, Martin. How was your night? It was okay and yours. Were you able to sleep? Yeah, I was. I should be going home. You don't even stay more with me and you say you missed me. My mom... She's back? Yes, and she thinks I slept at the hospital with Catherine. I need to go home this morning. Okay, we'll talk once I get a new phone today. Okay, and I'm sorry about what happened. I'm still surprised it happened. I'm also surprised about it. Sorry, baby. So sorry. Yeah, come before you come over to see me. Will you come to school today? No, I won't. Plus, it's weekend already. We have a fixed class. Okay, help yourself out. I'm too lazy to walk you. But you know what? Why don't you stay a bit? I'll drop you off. I should go now. I want to still spend more time together before you leave. Ma, you stayed? Yes, I stayed back to make sure you are okay. Ma, you didn't have to. I have to. Who else would have stayed with you? I am sorry for all the stress I'm putting you through. It's no stress at all, Catherine. Just get better. That's all I want. Thank you, Ma. The doctor will discharge me today. Okay, my dear. Robert doesn't trust me. Did he say that to you? Yes, he said it. He asked me who I got pregnant for. He doesn't know the baby is his? No, he doesn't. Mommy, I love you and I also love your son. But some things Robert does makes me question a lot of things. And I don't know the whole marriage, Mommy. I'm not ready. Okay, let's take it one at a time. Good morning, Amanda. Good morning, Lovett. What are you doing here this early? I'm cooking, making us breakfast. Isn't it too early? We can easily place an order. I'm almost done cooking here. Amanda. Lovett. Has he called you already? Yes, we just spoke. No wonder you have that beautiful smile on your face. I wasn't expecting he would call me this morning. He should be calling you all the time. Well, it's a process, one at a time. Yeah. Plus, I want to see if he will really get married to someone else. He won't do that. I hope he doesn't love it, but what can I even do? I will just keep being patient, trusting God, until I have my own baby. Welcome home. Good morning, mommy. Good morning. So, is the hospital you are coming from? Yes, mom. Catherine is still dear, mom. What happened to her? She was involved in an accident, mom. But she will be fine. An accident? Hope she's fine. Yes, ma. I will check on her later in the evening when you are back from school. Okay, mom. And she doesn't have anyone to stay with her in the hospital. I need to call Rob's mom. She may not know. Robert is away. He's also around. They are both a couple now, right? I don't think so, mom. King, what's up, man? I'm good, you? I'm fine, man. How did you go with Martin? He's home. Wow, that's nice. Yeah. Hope he wasn't injured much or anything. No, he wasn't injured much, man. Thank God. I asked her to marry me, but she didn't accept me. I remember you told me. Did you ask her again? No, I didn't. She got pregnant. That's unexpected, but this is good, I mean. The marriage will take place now. 
No, it won't. She had an abortion. Oh. Yeah, and I don't think the baby is mine. I've been so careful with her when we were sleeping with each other. You think she's cheating on you? Yes, she didn't even tell me about the pregnancy. So that means the baby isn't yours? Yes, the baby isn't mine. Maybe she didn't tell you about the baby because she knows you ask her to keep the baby. So she made the decision by herself not to have the baby. Keen. What's up, man? I'm good, Anjo. I'm fine. How are you feeling now? How's your body? I'm good. Much better. Thank you for yesterday. You're welcome. So have you gotten the new phone? Not yet. I'm getting ready to do that. Who brought food for you to eat? Someone. You're already back to the game after what happened. What game? Women. Not really. It was Hilda that made the food for me before she left. You've seen her already? Yeah, I have. That's good, good. Yeah, yeah. And it seems like news on my kidnap spread around already. Yeah, I had to reach out to some people to see if they could help out. Help out in what way? Maybe they know someone that knows someone. Has Cassie called you? No, she didn't. Why would she call me? Because I don't have a phone and... Man, she hasn't. You should go and see her before we start the exam proper. Two weeks to go and I've missed two tests. Three tests, but not to worry. You will be given a makeup test. It's good to see you. Same here. So how are you doing? I am fine and you? I wasn't fine. I wanted to see you yesterday. You are seeing me now, aren't you? Yes, I am and I am happy. Hope Amada didn't bore you with talks on me. He barely talked about you. Really? Nothing on me? Yes, nothing on you. She doesn't talk about you all alone. So what did you talk about? Is that why you asked to see me, to interrogate me on Amanda? No, I didn't bring you here to do that. Good. What about my proposal? Have you decided to accept it? Thank you, ma. Sit down and rest here, okay? Thank you, ma. What do I cook for you? Ma, I'm okay. I'm fine. No, you are not fine. You need to get something to eat. Mommy, I'm fine. I don't want you to be stressed out in any way. You are not stressing me out in any way. Mm -hmm. You just lost a baby now. You need to relax and regain your strength gradually. Yes, ma. I will go and cook for you. Let me make you something nice, okay? Your wife is with me here. Love it. I need to know if you will accept me or not. No. No. I don't understand. I can't be with you, Jeffrey. Okay, then. No problem on that. That's fine with me. You sure? Yes, I understand you. I can't force you to be with me. Do I return the money back to you? No, of course not. I give the money out of the good of my heart. Okay. Yeah, let me get going. Going? You don't want us to have breakfast again? I wouldn't want to take much of your time, love it. So this is how I'll get treated if I do turn you down? I don't understand you. You wouldn't want to have anything with me the moment I'm not interested in dating you. What else can be between us? We will just be greeting from a distance, you know, so that we don't speed up something no mutual. I want to date you. Love it. I don't want excuses. See, it's a yes or no thing, and I don't believe it should be this hard. I will be leaving now. Goodbye, love it. Help me call her. She won't pick the call, I know. She will. Just try it, please. The phone is ringing. Let's hope she picks. Hello, Ken. Cassie. Cassie. Martin, why are you calling me? Why are you calling me? Cassie, thank you. I don't need you to thank me. As expected. Call her back. That will only get her more mad. I've told you what needs to be done already, haven't I? You just need to go and see her. I'm having a cold feed towards traveling, Kane. I understand that. She would come to me, I know. No, this time around. You have no idea how hot she was, that's why you are seeing this. She's still pissed off, that's it. No, this time around. You have no idea how hot she was, that's why you are seeing this. You are asking that. After what happened to me, you are still asking. I risked my life. Yes, yeah, she's pissed off. You should go and see her, Martin. Go and see her or end up losing her totally. Do you even care about it? I can't take any trip for now. I'm not sure I can do that. I'm scared. You are right. How are you feeling after everything? Better. You are still wearing the same clothes. That's not true. This and another one. You are hurting Cassie. I'm fine. What do you say we go out later? I would love that. Anything would distract my mind. I'm interested. I made a stupid decision. What did you do? I turned down Jeffrey's proposal again. Why? You know why? Your back to this whole wife is your friend's stuff. Well, whatever. She's in my house as we speak. Oh, really? Yeah, but I've got this strange feeling for him. Like I want to be with him. Then be with him. It's as simple as that. Stop caring about others. Do you think anyone cares about you amongst all of them? None of them love it. None. Hello, mommy. Amanda, how are you doing? I am fine. And you, mom? 
I'm fine as well, just home. How's Hilda? I hope she's not stressing you out in any way. Not at all. Okay, mom. I just called to say hello. Is your husband back? No, mom. But he's been calling me. We've been talking. Okay, that's good to hear. I'm all about your well-being and happiness. I know, mom. Thank you. Hope there's no problem at home. Not at all. Everything is fine over here. I might come around to check you soon again, mom. When your husband is back, right? No, mom. Before he comes back, I feel bored and lonely here. Don't feel that way. See, just be at home until your husband comes and when he's around and after some months of togetherness, you can talk about coming over. You don't want me around. It's not that, but for now, it's good to try to build your home. For now, get closer to your husband and that fit you have your baby soon. Yes, ma. Robert. Catherine, how are you feeling? I'm okay. I don't want to see you though. I messed up, I know. I'm sorry. Robert, I don't want to hear whatever you've got to say. I am sorry. I didn't know. You thought I'm a woman who sleeps around with every man, right? No, no. I didn't think you'd get pregnant for me. Robert, I don't want to talk to you, please. See, the only thing I did wrong here is stressing out your mom on all this. I am sorry. Are you done? But you shouldn't have aborted the baby. Don't even go there, Robert. See, don't go there, okay? Okay. You can't tell me what to do or not do with the baby. I bet if I had even told you, you would definitely say the baby isn't yours. I wasn't meant to say that. We used protection. What about the other times you didn't use protection? I'm sorry, Catherine. I'm sorry. I don't have anything to say to you. If you want to leave, I will leave here. I have my own house and I'm sure my privacy would be much cutting there. You don't have to leave. I'll leave. You are right. Mom cares. So whatever decision you make is fine. Okay. Yeah, and stop talking about this. Just make up your mind already. What about Honorable? With his family members. Are you going to marry him? I don't know. I'm not thinking about men like this. You should be considering him. I mean, Martin is gone and you're now all single. I can't grow old with Honorable. He's an old man already. Marry him. Enjoy all. You can and who knows what will happen with time. I don't know. I'm not interested in marriage and all that right now. No interest. How did it go? She doesn't want to talk to me. She's still angry. I should be the one angry, mom. Yes, but as it is, you can't be angry after accusing her of cheating. Mom. What is wrong with the two of you? Robert, do you even like this lady? Do you love her? I do, mom. Then why do you act like you do? How do I act? All this that you are doing, Robert, all these actions of yours. Mom. You've got to do better. Take care of her. Show her that you love her, Robert, and care for her. Do you know why she hasn't accepted your proposal? Why? Because of how you've been acting towards her, your attitude, your action. Is this about money? Not about money. Everything isn't about money. Love and money matters, but son, you can do better with all this. Or is there someone else? No, mom. She's the only one I love. I wish she would accept me, mom. Amanda, Amanda, Amanda. So she's not here. She's still out there with her. Is that it? If only she didn't go there, I am sure Lovett would have accepted me now. We would have become a couple. What of Anita? She still not told me anything about having a baby since I mentioned DNA. That means she lied to me about it. She lied about it. Why is Lovett calling me? What does she have to say to me? Or what does she want to say now again? What does she have to say? As for Amanda, let me first call Sandra to come over first before I deal with Amanda. She will learn to stay in her house and not walk all around. I can't believe you brought me here. We are here for fun. I can't remember ever being here in a club. You're acting like an old woman, Amanda. See, you better loosen up yourself. Okay. Yeah, see those men over there looking at us. I'm not going for men. I'm married, remember? I know, but have you ever considered that maybe your husband is the problem and not you? Maybe he's the reason why you don't have a baby. Love it. Yes, now. So maybe one of those men can help you fix your home. Love it. I can't believe you're saying this. But I'm saying it. You can give it a trial. Do you know how many women out there did this to save their home? Do you? I can't do it, love it. Try it and see if you get pregnant. Jeffrey is calling me. I'm coming. So he won't take my calls, but he's taking hers. Hello, baby. Good evening. Where are you? I'm at home, baby. You're at home? Yes. 
You are at home, Amanda. Is that what you're telling me? Yes, I'm home. Where are you at home? Living room? Bedroom? In the bedroom. You liar! Liar! Jeffrey! You're lying to me confidently, right? I'm not lying, Jeffrey. Do you want me to send you a pic of myself? You have a picture to send. Fake pictures. Why are you sounding this way? How about we have a video call now? A video? Yes, I am calling you now. Pick up. Okay. Oh my god. What did I do now? Jeffrey will be so mad at me. I can't take this call. I need to come up with one excuse or do anything. My friend see me here. Let me so did you reach out? She's ignoring my calls and my messages. Did you tell her you're scared of traveling? Yeah, I did. Cassie doesn't, dozens. And at this point, that's the feeling I get. After what you did and the money she paid for you. I can't believe 20 million naira just went like that. For you? That's why I feel she will sort out things with me. We'll be fine. You're still hopeful about this? Yeah, plus I think she's also been cheating on me. You caught her? No, I didn't. Martin, you're not serious, man. I just want to be able to prove that she's also done this to me. Then we forgive ourselves. You don't care and you seem too confident of yourself. There are certain things one doesn't need to stress on. And one of them is Cassie. I know she will forgive me and it will be fine again. She will even apologize to me for all this. You're not serious. Why she doesn't forgive easily? I can't travel over there. Maybe after the exams. Phobia for traveling is what you've got now. Call it whatever you will. But I'm not traveling. Definitely not traveling. How are you feeling now? Much better, mommy. Thank you. I've already put some water on fire so that you can drink some tea. Thank you, mommy. And I'm sorry for all of this. Stop apologizing, Catherine. I'm here for you as your mother. I've told you before now. Thank you, ma. You're welcome. There's one thing I need you to do for me. Anything, ma. Forgive my son. Forgive Rob for all he's done to you, making you sad, hurting you. Please forgive my son. I've forgiven him, mommy, but he hurt me by asking me if I was seeing someone else. Don't be angry with him, please, okay? Okay, ma. And I'm promising you that if you marry him, you will finish school. I will make sure of it. I promise you this. I've heard you, ma. Good. Let me go and make you the tea. Robert is lucky to have a mother like you, ma. You are also lucky to have me. Oh, God. <laughs> what will I do now? What should I do? Is everything okay? Jeffrey is calling me in video calls. <laughs> he wants to see me. Why? I don't know. Tell him you're not home now. I already told him that I'm home. Then ignore the call. Love it. What do you want to do then? I need to go home. I think a friend of his is in the club. We can go home. I'm going to go and book a car this night. I should get one. Someone I know got kidnapped a few days ago. You shouldn't travel tonight. My advice. I'll be fine. Let me get home today. Maybe he will come home tomorrow morning. Amanda. Let me go. Can you drop me at the car park? Are you serious about this? Risking your life? I knew mommy would make an issue out of all this the moment she finds out. What are you cooking? Rice. When did you come back from school that you haven't cooked since? I called your number to ask if I should cook or not. Hilda, Hilda, are you just coming home? No, mom. Then why didn't you cook? Mommy, I told you I called you. It didn't go. Should I show you my phone? I'm saying my own now. I'm saying it too. Mommy, I didn't do anything wrong here. When it happens, they will give me a bad name now. What is all this? She can't pick my calls because she's lying. She hasn't seen anything yet. Thank you, darling. My sugar pie. Thank you. You can go to the room. I will join you soon. I need to sort out something. Why does she keep calling me back? Why won't Lovett leave me alone? She says she's not interested in me. Hello, Jeffrey. Lovett. I've been calling you continuously. I have been busy, that's why. You are suddenly busy for me because I didn't accept you. Why are you calling? Why are you stressing Amanda? Stressing her out in what way? Telling her to send a picture to you when you know she's here with me. Oh, she's with you? She's here in the car park, about to start coming home. This late? Yes, and if anything should happen to her, you'll be responsible. Are you serious about being in the car park? Yes, I can send you a picture. You don't have to do that. I will send her a message now. Okay. Yeah. When would I see you again? You want to see me again? Yes, I want to do that. So when do I see you again?
i don't know i am not sure i have that time anymore like i told you the feeling isn't mutual so why pour water in a basket i might have changed my mind love it you're not someone who easily changes her mind come and see me soon jeffrey why i'll tell you why when you come around Good morning, Catherine. Good morning, Robert. How are you feeling now? Much better. I'm sorry for my words to you. I was wrong and I'm sorry. Okay. Do you forgive me? Yes. Thank you. I love you, Catherine. And I get angry a lot, I know. Lack of trust is actually the problem here and lack of support. I trust you, Catherine. I do. Believe me. No, I don't believe you, Robert. You don't? Yes, I don't believe you. You will have to prove it to me. Catherine, I would prove it then. Give me time. You see, and I got you a little gift. What's that? Find out by yourself. I love this love it. Congratulations. Thank you. I hope you've now accepted him. He's gone back home. Because you turned him down. Yeah. Said he can't be stressing himself out. But I've told him to come over that I want to see him. So when he comes, I'll let him know. Good idea. What about Martin? He's been calling me continuously with a new number. But I'm ignoring all. What happened to the block button? He calls me to that basically now I ignore all new numbers calling me. Has he come over to see you? No. Said he's scared of road trips. The trauma of being kidnapped. Yeah, something like that. But that helps me to be safe from his begging drama. At least I can concentrate on other things. Like honorable. Like setting up my company. Finally, we're about to see the birth of Cassis and Co. <laughs> You're funny. Why isn't this key opening the door? Why is the lock giving me issues? It's not even turning. Or is he home? No, even at that, the lock would make leaks. Jeff, Jeffrey. What are you doing here, Amanda? I, I, I. Where are you coming from? I, I was, I, I went to my mom's place. Go back there and stay there. Let's go, baby. Jeffrey, please, please. Go back to your mom's house. Robert, a laptop. It's yours. You've been saving up to get it, I know. I can't believe this. You got it for me. Yes, it's yours. And I'm sorry for how I acted. Oh, Robert, it's all in the past. I promise you, it's all in the past. Thank you. Catherine, please marry me. Robert. I want us to start our life together. Let's get married. I'll support you, I told you. Yes, yes, I will marry you. Oh my god. Catherine, did you say yes? Yes, I said I will marry you. You just made me the happiest man in the world. I love you. I love you too. How does all of this concern you? I care about her. It doesn't concern you what goes on in his home. All you need to do is to tell him to not break up with his wife. He should love her and that's all. He's being wicked. She's the one calling him. Speaker. <laughs> love it. He was at home. Jeffrey was home. Why are you now crying? Did he hit you? No, he locked the door and left me outside. What? Yes, he left me outside and he left with a woman. He brought another woman to the house. Can you believe that? <laughs> and he's changed the door lock as well. Wow, he brought a woman home. Yes, lovers, I am finished here. You are not finished. See, wait for him. He's back. You see, Cassie, see what is putting her through. You will talk to him about it if you want to, but that's only when you've both started dating. For now, sell off this as family drama of your friend. He still brought a home and home. He can do whatever he likes. Remember that. What are you doing here? Didn't I say you shouldn't go back? Please, Jeffrey. Baby, please. I don't want us to make a scene here. Please go back. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I traveled and you decided to also travel, lying to me about your whereabouts. I am sorry. You want to be with your mom, right? You have missed her. So go to her place and stay with her. Amanda, stay with your mom. I'm sorry. Don't make us call the attention of those around. Please go back to your mom. Jeffrey, please, I beg you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go home. Jeffrey, please open the door, please open it, please, please, Jeffrey. Let me see your finger again. 
This is so lovely. Congratulations to you too. Thank you, ma. I can't wait for you two to walk down the aisle. We can have a simple wedding, you know? Yes. Yes. Before the year runs out, what do you say? I will have to talk to my family members. That's true. Your auntie? Yes, and some of my uncles as well. Uncle? You never mentioned an uncle. They don't care about me. But now that I'm getting married, everyone needs to be away. The family head, they make decisions. That's how it's done. I know that before the end of the year, they will pick a date. Yes, ma. You two need to be really patient with each other. Honorable, you're back. Yes, my darling. I'm back. I couldn't stay here and miss you. I miss you too. Are you sure about that? Or been following those small boys in my absence? I didn't do that. Cassie, what have you done to me? Tell me. Done to you? Yes. What have you done? Like... I haven't been myself since I left you. If I sleep, I see you, even on my wife's face. <laughs> Honorable darling. I can't get you off my head, Hassan. I want to marry you. There's the ring. It isn't here. You see? Now I'm ready, and you're not. Eh, uh, see. I will use this good ring in my hand. Will you marry me, Cassie? Yes, I'll marry you. Say it again. I said yes, I'll marry you, Honorable. Please open the door. Oh God, what do I do? Hello, mommy. Amanda, why are you crying? Mommy, there's a big problem. What happened again? What did Jeffrey do? He told me to go back to where I'm coming from. Did you go out? Yes, mom. And he came home and didn't see me. Amanda, where did you go? I traveled to. Travel? Didn't I say you should stay at home and wait for your husband? What's wrong with you? Mommy, please help me. What do you want me to do again? me call him mom please call him <laughs> i don't like all this stress you are putting me through what's all this now amanda what's wrong with you why do you want to break your home with your hands you accepted him yes i did i'm shocked right now i'm shocked as well what did he do or say to you what made you change your mind his mom hilda she's the reason i accepted him his mom yes she's a lovely mother so you are getting married i can't believe this not yet maybe when i'm done with level three but not now did you tell him that no i didn't do i have to i've accepted to marry him but that doesn't mean we must have the wedding now it doesn't not getting married now though still have a year at least you better don't let him turn you to lord of the rings and marry him the ring looks lovely on my hand doesn't it yes it does it's beautiful Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Cassie, thank you for accepting my proposal. Honorable, please stop thanking me, please. I am happy, Cassie. I'm also happy, my love. I don't want us to delay the wedding. We should proceed it fast. Not too fast. No rush. I need to do the needs for fast. I need to talk to my parents. Yeah, that's true. And you need to let your wife know. Well, everyone should please stay at their lane. Don't have to worry about that, Cassie. Trust me. I trust you. I will make you a very happy woman. Okay. I need to start making preparations now. <laughs> Hello. My darling, my blessing, just tell me anything you want now. I don't want anything for now, nothing at all. Jeffrey, please open the door. Please open it. Jeffrey, please, please open the door, Peggy. I'm sorry. Baby, I don't like what you're doing, Amanda. I have told you to go back to where you're coming from. Didn't I say that? I'm sorry, baby. Since you can't stay here in your house, you should go to where you're fine. Go there. I'm fine here. I'm fine here. No, you're not. See, I am traveling. Jeffrey. I am traveling. I am busy, you see. So there's no need for you to be here at home. No one is here. So go back to your mom's place. I stay at home. No, you won't. You won't enjoy it. Just go to our place. When I am back, we will talk. Baby, I want to stay at home. I said no, and I have also set the alarm for a break-in. If you should try to do that... Jeffrey! <laughs> I will let you know when I am back, and if I find out you enter the house, you can be sure that you will eat the other side of me that you will see. Jeffrey! You know you put me in trouble, right? Your mom, right? Yes. If you see the kind of different preaching and talk I've gotten because of you. <laughs> Sorry. You are even laughing. I thought about it this morning. When mom told me that your mom said to greet me, I was like, ha, Hilda has entered trouble. 
See, don't do this again, please. I've heard you, okay? How is Martin? He's fine. He was kidnapped, Catherine. That's why he couldn't reach out to me. What? Oh my, hope he's fine. Yes, he's okay now. After paying 20 million ransom. 20 million? Yes, yeah, so, like, I was shocked to my spine. Ha, huh. he has money. You're lucky, you know. Is it not Robert that doesn't have money? At least, he gives you money, doesn't he? How often does Robert give me money? If I want us to have an issue now, I'll just mention that I need money. Now that you are his betrothed, it's going to be different, I'm sure. I'm not counting on it. Congratulations, man. Thanks, man. So when are we looking at for the wedding? Before the year runs out. That's nice. Hope you won't stop her from schooling. I will not do that. She can go to school. Good. I'm definitely your best man, daddy. No problem on that. How's your friend? He's fine. Much better. You should also get someone and marry her, King. We're not getting any younger. Now that you've proposed, you want to start giving me relationship advice. It's not that, but it's the truth and you know it. <laughs> okay, I've heard you. Maybe I'll get someone on your wedding day. But for now, I'll be making money, Robert. More money and with the way things are for me, I don't want to get married and start asking for help to take care of my wife. Mm, you have the money. Why won't you just spend it? Cassie, Cassie. Baby, I'll see you later. Okay, for my love. Your love? What are you doing here? You've replaced me already. So soon. What are you doing here? Is that the old man you replaced me with? Him? Yes, he's the one I replaced with you. I can't believe you do that so quickly. Believe it. I told you, Martins. I'm not interested in you anymore. Cassie, we had something special. Doesn't that mean anything to you? It did. Until you shattered it. You cheated on me, Martin. Or have you forgotten? It was a mistake. A mistake indeed. Do you expect me to just forget that? After everything I've done for you, I trusted you. I know I messed up, but think about it. I risked everything to come here again to see you. After what had happened to me. I don't care. I risked everything as well. Why did I not give you nothing? Why did I not give to you? I gave you money, sponsored you to school, paid for everything and did this. And this is what I get. I'm done. I'm sorry, Cassie. Please, I'm sorry. Please. If you think just showing up erases everything you've done, you think you can just swat back into my life whenever you feel like it. I love you, Cassie. I never stopped loving you. Love isn't enough, Martin. Trust matters. Respect matters. You broke those and there's no coming back from that. Amanda, what are you doing here? Mommy, I had to come here and see you. He told me to leave, Mom. I told you not to leave your husband's house while your husband was away. What were you thinking? What's wrong with you? I was bored, tired and lonely at home, mom. That's why I left the house. I didn't think he would come back soon. He was to spend an extra week. Look at the nonsense you are saying. So he came back early and you didn't see you at home. How do you think he felt? He felt I didn't know, mom. I expected he would tell me. Maybe he wanted to surprise you, come back early to his wife and see you are nowhere to be found, Amanda. We all, well, this is getting me angry. Now look at the mess you've made and you are coming here to my place. Mommy, I'm sorry. You shouldn't have come here. You should have go back home waiting and crying. He traveled home and he told me to go back to where I came from. Then you should go there and not be here. Mom, I told him I was at your place. Mom Lying to him that you were here when you weren't, Amanda. Mommy, please just help me out, please. What was biting your legs in your husband out? What? Tell me. So you are really done with me just like that? Yes. All the years we spent together, Cassie, you are going to let that lady who means nothing to me ruin our relationship. It was just one night. It was more than that. She wasn't even a girl. I saw it in her, the way she was reluctant to leave. Do you take me as a fool or what? That lady is nothing to me. I swear it, Cassie. I'm done with you, Martin. Please stay away from me. I beg you. Stay away, okay? And you think he's better? That old man? Age has nothing to do with it. He treats me with kindness and respect. He's honest. He makes me feel valued. I can be that man, Cassie. Just give me another chance. Cassie, please just listen to me. I've changed. I realized what I did was wrong. And I'm willing to do anything to make it right. It's not late for that, Martin. I've moved on. Can you see the ring on my finger? What? Yeah, now you know how serious I am. You've been cheating on me all along. No, I haven't. But whatever you believe, that's fine with me. Just stay away from me. You acted without thinking, Amanda. Why can't you stay at home? So you're on his side now. 
I'm not taking sides. I'm trying to make you see that action have consequences. And now you are dragging me all into all of this, which is what I don't want. But I was going crazy in that house alone. I just needed to get out for a bit. And now you are out for good. I didn't mean it that way, mom. I wish I didn't even go anywhere. But it's lonely for me, dear. I'm bored, tired. That's why I said you will talk to him about a business. But you won't be able to do that now with what has happened. Mommy, you're going to have to help me. You are going to figure out by yourself on how to make things right. I don't even know where to start. He won't talk to me. He just told me to leave until he's back. Then we will talk. Give him some time to cool off and then you need to apologize sincerely and you need to show him that you can be trusted again. What if he doesn't want me around, mom? Get says I shouldn't come back. You better stop saying all this nonsense. You can't stay here and you know it. You keep doing all the wrong things you are not meant to do continuously. I messed up, mom. I just wish I could turn back time and stay home that day. We all wish we could turn back time when we make mistakes. Let's just hope he gets back soon and forgives you. That was fast. Welcome, love it. Good evening. Good evening. Is it up to five minutes that we just spoke now? I was in the area, that's why. Okay, seeing someone or? I met with a person that has to give me goods and leaves. Lease? Yes, you know, to make the shop full. Isn't the money okay? It didn't cover some things, but don't worry about that. That's not why I'm here. What do I get you? Nothing, I'm fine. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Okay. Jeffrey, I want to give us a chance to work things out between us. That means you're saying yes to me. Yes, but you shouldn't end things with Amanda. Okay, meaning you wouldn't mind being my second wife. I didn't say about that yet. Nothing on being a second wife. Love it, let me make it plain. I want a baby. A baby? Yes, I want someone that will have my baby. I would marry you as well if you want me to, but I want a child of my own. How are you feeling? I'm better now. Have you reached out to your auntie already? So quick. Yes now. I don't want us to deal with anything we're doing. We should take our time on everything, Robert, you know. I don't want to lose you, Catherine. You won't. After my exams, we'll go and see my auntie together. That's in how many weeks? A month's time. Wow, that's quite far. I was hoping it would be sooner. Why are we rushing things? We are not rushing things. We are taking it gradually, so no time would be wasted. We have to wait till a month's time, but I'll call her and let her know that I'm bringing my husband home towards the end of the month. Is that okay? I don't have a choice here. I can't convince you otherwise, can I? Not really. Have you called him? His number is switched off, mom. Okay. Yes, mom. I'll keep calling though. He's been traveling all around lately. Shouldn't even be worried about that for now. Okay. Fixing my marriage and relationship with my husband should come first. Yes. Mom. Sister. Good evening. Good evening, Hilda. It's good to see you, sis. Look at how your face is shining. Thank you. How is Uncle Jeffrey doing? He's fine. Look at the time you are coming home. You went to see that boy, right? No, sister. I didn't go to see any boy. Go and shower. If it's a boy she's seen or not, I will know whenever the results are out this time. You want to see my results, mom? Yes, not the one you will tell me. You got something though. You will show me the list with your name on it. That's what I want, love it, from you. You don't even love me or anything. Why would you say that? Of course, I love you. Why else would I have asked you out? You are just looking for someone to carry your baby since your wife can't have your baby. No, I want a wife, something more, and I want children. I don't know if I want all this. That's why I am not forcing you if you are in on this. What if I don't get pregnant? We will still be cool, but I am sure you will get pregnant soon. You sound so sure of yourself. Done all the tests necessary and it shows that I'm fine. Did it show that Amanda isn't fine? It didn't show that, but I guess we are not compatible. That's it. You know and I have told her to go and get someone else, but her and her mom said no. What do you think she would say, yes? Maybe, I don't know. She can't after 10 years. Come on, Jeffrey. Let's stick to hers. Let's not talk about her, please. I'm guessing it didn't go well. No, it didn't go so well. You won't even believe what I met there. What happened there? She cheated me like trash. She didn't even let me inside the house. That wasn't unexpected. I expected she would act that way, but not like that. 
It was really unpleasing for me. The annoying part was that I saw an older guy leaving the house when I got there. Maybe her dad. No, that's the guy she plans to replace me with. Can you imagine? And she even said it to my face. Like, she said it not caring about me. Man, she's done with you from the way it looks. She can't just be done with me like that. After all the years we had together. Not everyone can get over cheating. You're not even helping me here. Do you think she hasn't cheated on me before? Think about it. I bet she's been cheating on me all along. Seeing that man. But you never caught her, she caught you. But I don't think she cheated on you. A woman like us is one who would give her all in a relationship. But once her trust is broken, that's all, no looking back again. Forgiveness, giving second chances, those kind of stuffs. I guess you've lost this one this time, man. This one, my sister is back here again. I hope she's not having any issues with Uncle Jeffrey. This one, she's here. Oh God, where would you answer my sister and give her a child of her own? It's been 10 years and more now. Please answer her and give her a child of her own. I ought to call Martins. He told me he was traveling. What are you doing? Preparing for my bath. I don't want you running your mouth around and telling anyone your sister is around. Am I clear? What happened this time around? Not your business. You focus on your school. I need some money, mom. What again? Aren't you starting exam soon? What do you need money for? Some lecturers just gave us assignments, mom. I will give you the money. Thank you, ma. My man thing. Am I really going to leave him? I can't call him back. No, I can't. I just hope he's gotten home safely. Why did he even cheat on me? Why? Why did he have to cheat on me? Why did he? But I've also been cheating on him all this way. But I didn't expect this from him. I didn't. Why did I even accept this ring? Becoming Honorable Second's wife. Family drama that I don't want for myself. I remember how hard it was for my mom living with those women. I'm about to make the same mistake. Why? I don't love Honorable. Why am I doing this? He gave me the ring, never took her from his hand. He gave it to me to show how much he loves and values me. I can't return this ring to him. I can't hurt him. The only person who deserved to be hurt here is Martin. How foolish I was to think he'd be loyal to me. What was I expecting? But he broke my trust. He's done something. I didn't think anyone would do to me. Cheat on me. I'm coming. Hey Cassie. Lovett, how did it go? Not well. Why are your eyes red? I've been stressed out, that's why. What happened with Jeff? I can't lose her, man. How do I maintain this lifestyle of mine? How? Man, what do you want to do? I've got to prove myself to her. Didn't you say she says she's not interested in you? So how do you intend to prove yourself then? How? She can't just be done with me like that. It can't work that way. I know she still loves me, but she said love isn't enough. That trust and respect matter. And I broke those. You can't win her back. Get that into your head. I can. I know I can. Isn't she getting married soon? She's kidding about that, I know. Look at the caption, getting married in a bit. It's fake, she can't marry that man. He's old enough to be her father. I wonder how you are going to do this then. How are you going to pull this off? For her to end things with me this way means she's been pressured maybe by her parents to marry him. You know how these wealthy people can be. Then you better stay off away from all of their troubles. I can't lose her. I really can't. I've got to do something. I don't know what yet, but I've got to do something about this. So what happened? He said he wants me to carry his baby. He said that. Yeah, can you imagine that? That means he's trying to be a father. Yeah, I don't want this. Then don't do it. Let go of him. I should let him go? Yeah, if you're not ready to get pregnant, don't do it. He can't force you. But it's going to pay really well if I do get pregnant. Get married to me and you know. So you're game on it? I don't know. Make up your mind, love it. If you're here one moment, the other moment you're there. Just decide on what you want and go for it. Simple as that. Okay. So what is it going to be? I'll be with him, but I won't get pregnant. Just be with him for the money and all the fun he brings. Okay. Yeah, I can't get pregnant for him. Can't face Amanda. Still thinking about her? I have to keep thinking of her. Her feelings. The only person feelings that matter to me is me. I don't know when you became this way. We grow. Let me see your hand. Is that a honorable's ring? Yeah. Did he give it to you? Yes, he did. He asked me to marry him and I accepted. What? Are you serious? Yes, I am. Very, very serious. Oh my god, you accepted him. 
Yes, I did. I'm so happy for you. So happy you decided to be with him. You are lucky, Cassie. Thank you. I'm also going to date Jeffrey. I might even have his baby as well. Now that's the spirit. Pussy yourself first. You deserve him way better than that cheap shit. Yeah, I do. Did he call you? He came to see me, but I shut him out. I don't want to have anything to do with him. That's good. I hope you don't change your mind because I know you. You should know I don't forgive certain things easily. So, what do you think about this place? It's lovely. Are you okay with it? Can if I just keep living in my old place? I love it there. No. I don't want to stay in a place I'm not used to alone. You can't. We are getting married. You should live in the best house. Have the best things, you know? You will learn with time. Maybe I feel like we are moving fast. You won't say it, we will move at any pace, remember? We should slow down. No, we can't slow down. See, let's do it this way. Then get a house of your choice. And I'll pay for it. My old house? No. I thought you would love here. I wanted to give it to you. It's one of my houses. I love it, but I don't know how near you Cassie, anything to make you happy. That's what I will do. Anything for your happiness. I would house. Except that. Choose something else, please. I'll take this then. I want it here. Good then. The peoples are in the car. Really? So quick? Yes, now. Why should I waste anything with you? No, I won't. Just as we choose the introduction day, so I can marry you and make you mine. You're pushing too fast, Tony Rebo. She was asleep, mom. She's been reading overnight. I noticed it too. Thank God she's the one going to school and not me because I can't stress myself out. Let me call Lovett. The one who caused this problem. Mommy, it's my fault. Hello, Lovett. Sweetheart, good morning. Good morning. It's been a while, Lo. You just forgot me. It's not so. I've been so busy with my shop, that's why. How is it going? It's going well. Almost everything will be set. I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. Are you home now? No, I'm still at my mom's place. You don't mean it. I'm telling you, I'm still there. My husband has refused to take my calls. Isn't it up to a week already? It's up to a week, love it, and he's not come home as well. I'm just confused and tired of all this. I don't even know what to do. Call him. I've done that over and over again. Nothing from him. He's not responding to me. I don't know what to do again. I'm tired. Don't be tired. I'm sure he will come home and reach out to you. Don't I hope so. Lovette, it's not easy at all for me. Don't be too hard on yourself, okay? I've heard you well. I'll call to say hello, as you didn't call me. My landlord keeps calling. He's still calling you? Yes, he is. See, I don't have any money like this. I've told you to move over to my place, Catherine. I can't. You can. See, this will make things easier for us. Plus, we're getting married soon. So, you see, it's nothing, really. Let's get married first before I move in. How will you raise the money then? You can help me pay for it. I don't have the money, Catherine. Things are hard. We should manage and adapt. You can stay at my place, you know this. I can't, Rob. Not yet. Good morning, baby. Good morning, love. How was your night? It was fine. I slept well and you. I as well. Why is your body hot? It's still hot. I don't know why I woke up to this. Malaria. Have you taken any medication yet? No, I have not. Can't do self-treatment. I'm scared. Let's go to the hospital first before you go to school. I have a test today. I know it won't take long. Before you know it, you will get some drugs and you'll be in class before the test. Amanda. Yes, why haven't you been taking her calls? Because I don't want to talk to her. But I told you to talk to her. It's not fair. I will call her later. See, don't let her ruin our moment. Yeah. You have to take care of her. Make her happy so she doesn't suspect us. I'm scared of her finding out about us. I am not. I care less. I know, but do this for me. I will call her later, I promise you. Okay. Now, can we continue what we stop? I'm tired. No, you're not tired. Let's go another round. I want to have babies soon. You're not serious. I am very serious here. I told you. When are you going home? You want to get rid of me? I want you to settle with Amanda. I already told you I will call her. Didn't I say that? You said it to the other time, but didn't do it. Why should I trust you now, when you're already breaking your word? I am not breaking my words. I really wish you won't get between me and Amanda's issue, but focus on us instead. I see. Okay, I'll be quiet then.
That's not what I mean. I don't have anything to say. This is just the tip of what she has to come. Trust me. I know. My tomato. My beautiful wine. That's me. Why do you look this way? Like you're unhappy. What's wrong? Nothing, I'm okay. Are you sure you're fine? Yeah, I'm fine. I understand you don't want us to rush the wedding process. But even at that, Cassie, see, I don't want to lose you. That's why I'm doing this. I'm knowing you. you can easily change your mind at any moment. And I don't want that. I won't change my mind. No, I can't do that. How can I do it? I know you, but I'm not forcing anything on you. I hope you know. I know, I know, but let's go back home. What about the other gifts? I'm not in the right mood now. Please, can we do it another time? What has? Okay, okay, let's go already. I don't know why the doctor said I should lie down here. You might need to take some injections. Definitely not today. I have a test and an injection would weaken me. I know. I don't want any medication. If they say you need to take injections, you are going to have them today. No, no. Yes, yes, look at my face. Your health is more important to me. I know, thank you. I'm sorry for taking long. Ma, you're not sick at all. All the signs you're experiencing are actually symptoms of pregnancy. Congratulations. What? Pregnant? What? Yes, you're four weeks gone and you and the baby are healthy. You are a good woman, Lovett. I'm not. If I were, I wouldn't be sleeping with you. Things happen that we don't plan for, but doesn't change the fact that you're good. Okay. I will call her now. Okay, better call her already. Hello, baby. Jeff. Jeffrey. Yes, how are you doing? I'm not fine, Jeff. Baby, see, I'm sorry for leaving the house the other day. I have read you. I overreacted. No, you didn't overreact. I was the one who acted wrong. Please, I'm sorry. I have heard you. I forgive you, okay? Thank you. I will never do that again. I won't leave the house without letting you know. Okay. How is mom doing? She's doing fine. She's been calling you. Tell her I was busy. That's why I didn't take her calls. Cover for me. I'll do that. Okay, then. I will let you know when I am back home. Baby, oh, want to come home now, please? I took all the extra keys. You will have to wait till I am back, okay? Will you be back soon? I don't know yet, okay? I have got to go. Thank you, babe. I love you. Later. Satisfied? Yes, I'm satisfied now. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for the advice as well. I feel relieved in ways. Towards the end of the year, we should have the wedding. Thank God and congratulations. Yes, so, yes, so. Whose voice is that? Amanda is around. Amanda is around? Yes, so. Mommy. Good morning, ma. Good morning, Amanda. How are you? I'm fine, ma. How's Herbert doing? He's doing fine. It's good to see you. Thank you, ma. Is everything okay, Amanda? He just called me now, mom. He and I have settled with each other. Thank God, thank God. I should be home next week. You are pregnant. I don't still believe it. The doctor won't come here and lie to us about it. I use the drugs. I... I know. See, just relax. How can I relax? I can't have this baby. My mom will kill me. Okay. Or do you want to have this baby? No, not now. I'm not ready for a baby. Oh, God. What's all this? Why is this happening to me? Why? <laughs> Why are you crying now, Hilda? Get yourself together. Let's go to school. I don't know if I can go to school. Have you forgotten you have a test to write? I'm disoriented. Get yourself together. We'll discuss this later after your test, okay? Can't you take the baby out now? What if my mom notices me acting different? She won't notice anything. Don't worry about that. Just act normal. Who is this? Wow, Catherine. Is this man crazy? He packed all my bags outside. You better pick up his call. Who's all this nonsense? How many months am I owing him that he threw my bags outside? Did he pick? No, he didn't pick his calls. Oh God, what's all this now? How about taking them to my place? Robert, I see what you're trying to do. I'm offering to help you here. Do you have the money to pay? No, I don't yet have it, but I will have it. Oh God, what's all this now? You can't leave them all here outside. I'll leave it outside. Let's go to school. You're still going to school? I have a test in a few minutes time. Please drop me off. Where is my test book? Where is it? My books are what will break my heart if it gets stolen. Move your clothes or use. You should know I'm not a freak about all of those.
just be following him gradually okay that's how to stay in your home i've told her already patience and obedience thank you mommy after this one i don't want to hear anything at all again you won't i'll only call you to tell you i'm pregnant amen so shall it be amen i know that's what i'll call you for soon how will you even get pregnant when you and jeffrey are playing like his fight today tomorrow fight after 10 years ha it's not their fault it's always amanda's fault all the time never taking my side mom always his side it's not about sides it's the truth i've heard you too i think i'll go out today where to i'll go and see Albert. Please ma, give me his shop address, so I'll go and see him, instead of staying at home. Let it us be, whoever we like, I could go.